You are. The only reason you're going to feel good is you're going to give it to yourself at that point. So why wait? Why not give it to yourself now? Some people say when they've been through a really tough time, they, if they're really in a painful situation, in America, many times people say, well, someday we'll look back and laugh on this. I always say to them, why wait? <laughs> See, we got to take control of our body now. If you kiss somebody and wham, you're so excited. Where does that excitement feeling come from? Is it from wet tissue, kissing wet tissue? No, if that was true, kissing your dog would excite you. It's because you have a belief in your mind that says, when somebody who's spiritual like me, or who looks like this, and is shaped like this, and kisses me like this, wow, I feel like this. But if they're shaped like this, and they're not spiritual, and they don't believe what I believe, and I stay away from them. We create our own feelings. And I want to show you how you can get those immediately, because in a state where you feel alive, you'll do the things you're not doing. You'll get momentum. You'll get results. Does this make sense to you, yes or no? Fantastic. Then here's what I want you to do. First, let's learn something about your mind. I want you to do a little test with me. Bring your hands out like this. When I say now, bring them together like this. When I say now. <laughs> Ready? Now. Ready? <laughs> now. Ready? Now. Keep your hands together. Extensive psychological research over the last 30 years has shown an interesting pattern. No matter how many times I tell you to pull your hands apart and bring them together, pull my hand and put them together, you'll always put the same thumb on top of the other. Some of you have your left thumb on top of your right thumb, some have your right on top of your left, some of them they match up. Now notice, if your left thumb is on top of your right thumb, psychologists have proven that the driving force in your personal philosophy or psychology is the desire for sex and you're a great lover. I saw this man change thumbs over here. I saw that. <laughs> if, however, if, however, your right thumb is on top of your left thumb, if your right thumb is on top of your left thumb, then the driving force in your mindset is you are intelligent and you will be financially independent in your lifetime. Now, check out this guy over here. He's like, do I want the sex or the money? The sex or the money? If your thumbs don't cross, they just stay side by side like this, it means you think you're sexy, smart, and rich, but you're none of the three and never will be. <laughs> no, it says nothing to do with anything. Just seeing if you're awake. Wake your body up. Okay, now here we're going to do a little test. How many of you would like to have much more joy and happiness in your life? Say, I. Then we're not going to wait for it. We're going to do it. And let me show you what we're going to do first. Emotion. Emotion is what you're after. Some emotion. Some of you want joy. Some of you want peace. Some of you want success. Some of you want love. Some of you say, I want all the above. Right? How many want all those things I just said? Say, I. Those emotions that are the reward of life are available in your body right now. The problem is most people try to get in a good state of mind by trying to be in positive. They go, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. And your brain goes, you are not happy. Because the body teaches the mind what to feel even more than the mind the body. In other words, emotion, listen to me now, emotion is what you're after. You're not after just the car. The car is going to get rusted and old. You're after the emotion of getting that car. You have the emotion of the freedom of it. You're not after a person. You're after the feelings of love or intimacy or passion or joy. You're not after money. You go, yes, I am. You're after what money will give you, which is an emotion, right? Something you're after. And that thing you want, you can have right now. And if you have the emotion now, you tend to get the goal quicker anyway. Because you're not feeling so beat up or tired or down. There's energy flowing in you. So I want you to notice that emotion, hear me now, emotion is created by motion. The way you move determines the way you feel. So if there's a depressed person, do they take on a certain posture when people are sad and depressed? Yes or no? Of course they do. If somebody's really depressed, is their head up or down? Come on, quick, which one? Down. Are their eyes up or down? Are they breathing full or shallow? Mm. Are they talking loud or more quiet? Fast or more slow? Now, how come 5,000 of you all agree, and you're from, some of you are from China, some of you are from other parts of the world, and you're all saying the same thing, men, women, children? How come? 
Because you all know what it takes to feel lousy. You've done it before. Now, if you take that same person and you change their body, you change the way they move, you change the way they breathe, you change their voice, you change their face, their biochemistry changes. They physically, emotionally change. It's not fake. It literally triggers you just like a drug would trigger you, only there's no side effects. So I want you to experiment with how you use your body to feel a certain way. And we're going to do it in a simple way. Shake your body out. Come on, shake it up. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask you in one moment to go and meet a group of people that you don't know. You're going to move around and introduce yourself to people. Not yet. When you do this, though, I want you to specifically greet people in a certain state of mind and emotion. I want you to greet people as if meeting them was a complete waste of your time. So when you do this, I'm going to ask you to do this deliberately because I want you to notice what do you have to do with the muscles in your face to feel like it's a waste of your time? What do you have to do with the muscles around your mouth? How do you breathe when it's a waste of your time, more shallow or more aggressive? Do you move straight towards them or do you hesitate? Is your voice loud or quiet? I want you to notice what you do when it's a waste of your time. So it might look something like this. You might say something like, you, sir, come here, come here, you, come here. What's your name? What? Muck. What? Muck. Muck. Fine. Get out of here. <laughs> okay? Now, I want you to do this deliberately because I want you to notice two things. How does it feel when somebody greets you that way? That won't be hard to figure out. But more importantly, what do you do with your face, your voice, your body, your posture, your gestures when it's a waste of your time? Because we're going to compare it later to a different feeling, okay? So we'll know what we do in our body. So I want you to get to as many people as you can and be like a little kid. Really go for it. There, it's a waste of your time. Go, go, go. Introduce yourself to people. Now, question. Some of you, when I said to do this, you couldn't. You're just too nice. You're like, hi. <laughs> but how many of you did this? How many of you acted like it was a waste of your time? How many did this? Raise your hand. Okay, then I want you to yell out these answers so we hear, because there's 5,000 people in this room. So yell out the answer. It'll also keep your energy high. How many of you, to get where it's a waste of your time, where it bugged you, how many of you had to change the muscles in your face? If you did, say yes. yes. Did you change your posture when you did this? Yes or no? Yes. Mm. Did you talk louder or quieter when it was a waste of your time? Yes. Say it again. Yes. Say it again. And notice, almost everybody's saying the same thing. There's 5,000 people here. And I didn't tell you what to do. It's because what this is what the body does. When you feel like, ah, oh, it's a waste of time. Did you talk faster or slower? Which one? Mm. Did you go straight towards them or did you kind of hesitate a bit? That's right. And notice, everyone's saying the same thing because while we're all different, and we all come from different cultures, and many of you are hearing me through a translator, what's universal is the human body. If you use your body a certain way, you feel a certain way. You change the way you use it, you'll feel differently. And if you feel differently, you'll do different things, and that's where success or failure comes from. Now, let's try a different state. Shake your body out. All right? Now, here's what I want you to do. This time, I'm going to ask you to go greet people. But this time, I want you to do it in a different mental, emotional state of mind. I want you to do it this time as if you were deathly afraid someone was going to reject you. So it might look something like this. You might go, hi, hi, what, what's your name? What, 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 what's your name? Thank you. Okay. Now I want you to be like a little kid and I want you to exaggerate and be playful. Because if you're a boring adult, you're like, why are we doing this? But if you're a kid, I want you to explore, because have you ever done this? Have you ever been watching the Olympics, the Winter Olympics on television? Ever been like sitting in your chair and you're watching someone skiing or snowboarding, and as you're sitting in your chair watching them, you're doing this? How many have ever done something like this? Come on, say I! I want you to exaggerate the